Hey, it's Lovely Student here, and today we're going to be talking about activity diagrams, which is the UML diagram. And today I'll mostly be talking about if else statements and some basic examples and the repeatable loops. So, first of all, I have a very simple setup regarding mail, where we begin, then we have some kind of activity, open the mail, then we have if else statements, is if the mail is important, then read the mail and finish, if the mail is junk, then delete the mail. And how we do it in plant UML, simply having start, then we have the first activity, which in this case is open the mail, then we have an if statement, we could also add some information like inside the if statement, but I'm just going to leave it blank for now, and then use like the text outside to explain what we're doing, so it's important, or then do this, or if it's, it's junk, then do this, and then in the end we end the if statement. So that's the basics of the else if if else then we have a repeatable loop which in this case begin we begin we test something something went wrong if it went wrong then we alert error let's make it a bit small actually error and then something read and then something went wrong with the long text if yes so it's like a double check First we error and then we check again if it's still wrong. And then we just redo. Otherwise, if it's actually fine, we would just alert success. Or just abruptly test something, something went wrong. No, okay. Alert success. So that's the basics of being able to like try backtrack. But actually let's look at a simple example. To understand how it's actually working in the plant journal. So what we do, we start, read data, generate diagrams. Do we have more data? No. And yes, more data, repeat. So what we do is we start a repeat section, which means it's like this area, and then inside a repeat section, we do read data, generate diagrams, and then add the information while more data, else yes, then we go back, otherwise we just go no, and in this case just go no, and then stop. Or with this one we would go no, and then continue to do different stuff. So that's how we do if else statements and repeatable loops with activity diagrams in UML and using the tool plant UML. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.